This is round three of the elimination event, and I won the die roll. So I'm gonna go first. Really shamanic in the sand. If he's playing black white as his avatar suggests, I'm going to lose a horrible, horrible death. I don't want to see any lands, I just want to see removal spells right now. So that's a strong scry right there. Green. Green's a good sign, it means I can freely cast my young pyromancer. Chain Rocks is a lovely draw. But if he's monsters, then um... If he's not, if he's um, walk, um, John Walkers, then it's bad. But I think he's Green Devotion. Which in this case is excellent for me. Green Devotion with a really slow hand which kept for some crazy reason I can't explain. I will use um Wally Helix on that thing. I don't really want him to gain any advantages with this card, so I'm going to take it out now. Curses. Bad. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Do I have six? I do not. I will do more damage if I shoot his creature, so I will shoot his creature. Mats. One, two, three, four, five damage. Not enough, but um, I'll do it anyway. I'll take out his um drawing card, Echelon. Take the Wally Helix. I'll swing, swing with the team. Except for the um, young Pyramans, of course. Again, sideboarding. Okay, I'm playing against Green Devotion, which is a nightmare of a matchup. How do I proceed? Well, I want Banishing Lights, I want Pill of Lights, I want the Mortals, I want the Flames. Kinda want my Walkers, not really. Wear and Tear actually is good against him. I cut out my control spells even though it gains a bunch of life. Eight for eight, that's actually perfect. Now um Sandra Pyremaster is actually not bad in this matchup. Do I play Sandra Pyremaster then? 
No. I'd rather just kill his creatures and just beat down with tokens and phoenixes. Oh, 21 cards. I was wrong. So, um, I have too many of something. What do I cut? It has to be one of my creatures. Tokens do less in this matchup than they need to do in any other matchups because they trample and stuff. I think the flies are more important. Alternative, I can just cut the banishing lights because he's gonna bring in um uh, those enchantment hating mages. Yeah, I'll keep the lights out. If I'm lucky, you'll keep a very greedy hand again. This is really greedy. No, I should not like it. This is even worse, actually. But, um... I'm keeping it, mainly because the scries can hopefully save me from this draw. Okay, that's one good scry. Corsor. No courses. I am in luck. No, oh my god. <laughs> um... Okay, you sure you want to do that? Not that I mind too much. I am going to take some unnecessary damage. But if I can just draw some lands, some burn spells, sorry, like lightning strike for example, I'll be set. Don't even mind at all. This hand I have, if I can wait it out and somehow draw, manage to draw myself a um, a Mizzle Mortar, I can make this work. I can take out the um. One of his free creatures, free free creatures, and one one creatures with a uh, singleton jet, if in this place, and just swings in. My goal, though, is to top a um. Like a Mizzle Mortar and sweep the board. Okay. Wow. Um, he's using a two-box card, so he's summoning something. We'll call over the, um, something something. It's probably gonna be another light game card. I honestly don't care. I'm not actually trying to race him. Gosh darn it.
Lightning Strike and Chain Rocks. Uh, Chain Rocks is definitely going to be good. Lightning Strike, not so much, but I can take out a um, Lightning Tree Chain, so it's probably worth it. Really? So greedy. Okay, I'm catching up now. Next turn, I lightning strike this creature. I can triple block it with my tokens. No, oh, that's frustrating. Two lightning strikes in a row. Actually, that's not bad at all. I can make this work. I should probably take out two um, creatures now, though. So I'll probably trade all of my tokens. Nah, just a middle will be enough. Still not in the world yet. But it's getting close to being um really abysmal. Can't really afford to die yet. No more life gain, so at this point I should be able to take control in theory. Especially if he stops throwing gas. I'm not sure that was correct. I believe it is. Yeah, it would have been, because otherwise I wouldn't have drawn a card. Probably would have succumbed to his damage. See what I draw first. Nope, I have to shoot it. That wall is going to be frustrating. 
and the card advantage would be frustrating. That said, I can take him out in um, 4, 8, 12. No, I need um, 5 turns to kill him. That's not happening. Especially with him gaining life like this. Whoa. Okay, that's a pretty fantastic draw. I know his next card is going to be land, so I get um, a few sweet free swings. Of course, the scavenging ooze would be just devastating. Okay, another free swing. Let's see what he draws next turn. As long as it's not a scavenging ooze, I can kind of make it. Is this the ooze? He can kill one of my creatures. I'm just going to block, so, um. can kill um, basically one one phoenix goes to four well he takes it and dies really up to him GG my friend